What's up, YouTube? You ever heard something about cleaning your brakes? Let me show you something. You can't see. You see the brake pad right there? One on top, one on bottom. You see you got oil grime and stuff. And I'm gonna explain what I'm doing. On the back you have drums. You don't have, uh, some of them have like disc brakes on the back, kind of like the drums. Same way also at the back of your trailer. If you notice, it's raining a little bit. But I believe that hotel there is called Mountain View Motel. Probably been closed as many years as I can remember. But give you a thing where I'm at. You notice at the back, you got brakes there, brake, 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 brakes. And they're all same way, top and bottom on the, um, call them drums. And the reason I'm showing you that is yesterday I seen five jackknives. In the winter weather and also in uh rainy weather the number one thing that the truck picks up is water off the road and the water on off the road has oil from the road itself because it's made out of uh asphalt asphalt is tar oil stuff like that plus you got all the trucks and stuff that are diesel cars leaking oil and stuff and it builds up a film or a sheen that people call uh road dirt dust grime and stuff and a lot of people don't clean their brakes you don't have to get a brush a wire, a cleaner, a broom. You don't need all that to do that. Here is the number one thing you need to clean bricks. The brake pedal. Let me step up in here. Whew, if I fall, y'all don't laugh. Ah! hard to keep three point of contact getting in and out. Hope the camera. Okay. Get that wire out of the way. When you're driving and you say you're running 50 miles an hour in bad weather, don't slam on the brakes. Apply your brake pressure and you'll feel each tire brake pads as they're tightening down the truck slows down okay slow it down count 1001 1002 1003 1004 let off the brakes if you're thinking that the trailer brake didn't really engage grab your trailer brake and do not do not pull it all the way down just kind of a quick bump. You hear that? And there's what that does that it make the trailer do that. And that engages the brakes to the drums. And it cleans the road sheen, the road silt, oil, whatever you want to call it. It cleans that off. Do that every so often. And that way, when the roads is wet and stuff, you have a clean surface. If somebody pulls out in front of you to apply the brake pressure and it doesn't keep slipping and sliding, the friction will slow you down. So the cleaner the drums, rotors are, the faster you slow down. So that's the number one thing today is clean your brakes. Uh, rainy weather need to do it as well as snowy weather if it is snowing when you go downhill 
and you apply your brakes, you go just like that. Apply your brakes before you get to the heel. That way you're on a clean surface and the ice and water and stuff is off. And when that brake pad engages, you actually have a great chance of uh, slowing the truck down than you do if you don't clean your brakes. Well, this is Buttermilk. Send your roadside shenanigans to Buttermilk's Roadside Shenanigan group. Uh, if you like to post your pictures or whatever, let me know. Uh, to get in touch with me, it's uh, Buttermilk1972 uh, at gmail.com. Uh, this is another safety tip. Uh, I think all drivers need to know. And when you're approaching an uh, exit ramp, off ramp, make sure you have applied and clean your brakes before you get there. And remember, 55 miles an hour, you still can hydroplane. It only takes so much water for a truck to hydroplane. And cleaning your brakes and stuff also applies for your personal vehicles. Cleaner the brakes, your drums and rotors and things are, the better success you have when you're trying to apply brake pressure, especially when somebody pulls out in front of you, cuts you off. Uh, just remember, when you're going on and off ramps, slow your butt down before you get there. Uh, because five jackknives... I couldn't get off at the rest area right up here on Interstate 40 yesterday because the truck jackknife in the off ramp getting into the rest area. Now, come on. Tell me he wasn't speeding. He was speeding. Uh, then I've seen other occasions. Same way. These off ramps, you got to slow down. Be aware of traffic uh, slowdowns. Um, because yesterday we had, it, it was just horrible. It was horrible coming 40 and 75 yesterday. Five jackknives. And all of them probably could have been prevented. Slowing down, cleaning your brakes, and being careful. So, if you have any questions, just let me know. Everybody, please be safe. Let me know about these safety tips, if it helps you out or whatever. Uh... And it brings a perspective to driving, especially for new drivers. Uh, if you have any questions, you know how to contact me. Leave a message here on the, uh, our channel. All right, this is Buttermilk. Everybody have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.